I'm Chris and I'm the author of Cancer Uncensored, your step-by-step -step guide to cancer prevention, early detection and cancer survival. Did you know one in three of us will be diagnosed with cancer within our lifetimes and yet 85% of cancer is preventable? Cancer Uncensored tells you how. Crammed with study data from peer-reviewed studies, my book tells you not only what to do to avoid cancer, but also how to improve the odds of recovery if you've already been diagnosed. I've worked in medical diagnostics for over 17 years, but I'm also a trainer and lecturer who's trained literally thousands of delegates, so I know how to explain things in a way that everyone can understand. So everyone who wishes to stay cancer free should get this book, and anyone with cancer needs this book. I know this is a frightening topic for many people, but cancer is on the increase. In the near future, it's predicted that half of us will get cancer within our lifetimes. We need to act now to change those odds. But less than 10% of cancer is genetic. The rest relates to environmental factors, diet and exercise, so you can take control. In fact, to give you an example, in a recent study, an extract from apples was used in the diet of rats that were genetically pre-programmed to get the most deadly form of breast cancer. In the low-dose group, 57% got cancer. In the medium-dose group, 50% got cancer. But in the high-dose group, only 23% got cancer. These rats were genetically predisposed to get cancer. It was supposed to be inevitable, yet their diet prevented it. In another study, published in the International Journal of Cancer in 2008, it highlighted that increased alpha tocopherol consumption, which is a form of vitamin E, to just over 7 mg per day or greater resulted in a 34-53% to 53 reduction in lung cancer risk. Vitamin E costs pennies a day. A handful of almonds has 26 milligrams and has also been shown to suppress hunger urges and will help you lose weight. If you already have cancer, you need to know about the foods and extracts that have been shown to kill cancer cells. In 11 different studies, curcumin and turmeric has been shown to decrease tumour size by an average of 81% with no side effects. If you don't like curry, you can get capsules, but there are over half a dozen other extracts with similar study data. You need to add these to your diet to put the odds in your favour. They work with conventional or alternative medicine. And the list goes on. These are simple things anyone can add to their diet. As a society, we've forgotten the wonderful healing qualities of nature. This book will change the way you look at food forever. Better yet, you'll even learn how to combine foods to suppress your appetite and control blood sugar. So losing weight and feeling great is easy. I lost over 20 pounds in the first three months whilst researching the book without deliberately restricting calories and without changing my exercise habits. So I don't just write about it, I live it. However, cancer prevention and cancer survival isn't just about food. It involves activities you should actively engage in, environmental factors and foods to avoid, how to use your psychology to reduce your risk and get a measurable increase in survival rate if you've been diagnosed. Every one of these factors can be used alongside mainstream conventional treatment or alongside alternative medicine. For example, in a 2009 study, mice with lung cancer were fed a diet containing the unorganic phosphates we use as a preservative in processed food. At levels consistent with the Western diet, the lung cancer tumours were significantly greater in size than the control group. Lung cancer is the biggest killer of all cancers, yet how many oncologists tell their lung cancer patients to avoid phosphate preservatives in food? I suspect none. Everybody should read Cancer Uncensored because it could save or prolong millions of lives. Only 23% of Americans eat their recommended five portions of fruit or vegetables per day, but Cancer Uncensored makes it easy. If you have a family history, you can change your level of risk. If you've already been diagnosed, you need Cancer Uncensored. Get the book and tell your friends. A one in three probability of cancer is unacceptable. I'm on a mission to save as many lives as I can. If 85% of cancer deaths are preventable, that's 5 million lives that could be saved worldwide each year. But let's start with your loved ones and you. Fight back with Cancer Uncensored.